Hello, hello. Good evening. Hello, students. Welcome. Hello. Hello, good evening. How are you today? Welcome to your class. Thank you very much. I'm fine. How about you? I am doing great. Very happy to be here. And for okay. sure, very happy to see you and to, well, to be with you again, right? It is a very great happiness for me to be in this class with you. So, uh, how was your day, my dear students? Thank you very much for all the ones who sent the audio. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Thank you. Thank you to all the ones who were sending me the audio. That was so great. And I am very sorry that I sent it at noon, right? I had a, a lot of difficulties. There we go. Okay. So, hello, Edgar. Hello, Joanna, Ever, Nidia, Samuel, Eduardo. Welcome. Good evening. Thank you. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Ah, Jose Fernando lo atacó la actualización de Zoom. Ok. Eh, esa es como una actualización que le tiene que hacer ahí a la app que, que está fallando con el video. Si no la desinstala después y la vuelve a instalar después de clase. Don't worry. Sí, sí, ya subí eso. Ok. <ríe> So let's work. Yesterday, wait, give me one second. Okay, good. So let's work, people. Today we're going to work a little bit on a the class that we were working on yesterday. Yesterday was a lot of fun at the end with the pronunciation issues, but it is always uh, it is always important for us to practice, right? We are going to work a little bit on uh, questions in simple past, and we are going to practice, right? We're going to practice with those questions. Let me just share my screen with all of you. And let me see. I think I have them right here. Here they are. Okay. And we have simple uh, questions in simple past. Here it is. Let me share my screen with everybody. Okay. Here I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven questions. I have seven questions that I am showing to all of you. And I need you please to check on them and to choose one. I need you to choose one of the questions. It says, the first one, what did you do yesterday? The second one, where did you go on your last vacation? What was the last restaurant you went to? How was it? What did you do last weekend? What did you eat for lunch yesterday? What was the last movie you saw? How was it? And who did you hang up with uh, last? What did you do together? Who did you hang out with last? It's like, ¿con quién fue la última persona con la que saliste a divertirte? What did you do together? Choose one question from all of them. And I need you to write a little bit about it. Write your answer. Okay? I need you to write your answer about one of these questions. Think about it. Choose one and write your answer. Write your answer from one of these questions. Okay, so choose one and write the answer. Go ahead. So let me just check on them. Which one are you going to choose? Edgar, which is your question? Okay, I choose what did you eat for lunch yesterday? What did you eat for lunch yesterday? Okay, Joanna? The microphone, sweetie, I cannot listen to you. Yeah. 
What did you do yesterday? What did you do yesterday, Raúl? Uh, what was the last movie you saw? How was okay. it? Okay, very good. Jose Fernando? What is your question? Uh, re uh, re please. What is your question? Uh, Which one are you going to choose? ¿Cuál escogiste? And what did you do yesterday? Very good. Cecilia? What did you do yesterday? Two okay, days. very good. Sandra Leticia? I, what did you do yesterday? Another one. You have seven. <laughs> um, good evening, teacher and classmate. Hello. <laughs> Uh, where did you go on your last vacation? Where did you go on your last vacation? Very good. Edson? Uh, the, what, what did you do last weekend? What did you do last weekend? Very good. Isabel? Um, what was the last movie you saw? How was it? Very good. Nidia? Uh, what did you do last weekend? What did you do last weekend, Eduardo Jose? What was the last movie you see? What was the last movie you, you saw? saw? You saw, sorry. And how was it? And how was it? Very good. Karen and Stephanie? What did you do last weekend? What did you do last weekend? Okay, si ya les pregunté, ya pueden estar escribiendo. Ever Ernesto? Uh, where did you go on your last vacation? Where did you go on your last vacation? Very good. Your camera. Remember to keep it on. Jancy? What did you What did you eat for lunch yesterday? What did you good evening, for, teacher. <laughs> Hello. What did you eat for lunch yesterday? And let's see. Catherine Alejandra? Hello. Uh, who did you hang on out with the rest? Okay, who what did you do together? Okay, who did you hang out with last and what did you do together? Very good. Elvira? Elvira, what is your question? Oh, okay, 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 okay. She's working. Uh, Samuel Isaac, what is your question? And, okay, if you listen to me, Samuel, answer, please. Uh, Cesar Guadalupe, we need to choose one of these questions and we're going to write the answer, okay? So choose one of the questions on the list and write your answer, okay? Yes, Cesar, estamos claros? Okay, let's see. Okay, he says, very good. Alejandra Beatriz, what is your question? Uh, who did you hang out with last? What okay. did you do together? Very good. And Jose Daniel? Jose Daniel Chavez? Okay, please, for all the ones who have the cameras off, I need you to turn them on because I need to see you working. And we have a message from Victoria on the chat. And it says uh, that you need to send the comprobante de entrega de manual educativo. Okay, tomorrow is the last day. Quienes no lo han enviado están en la lista y si ya lo enviaron en estos momentos, pues hagan caso omiso de este mensaje. Dice Edson Stanley, que no ha enviado el comprobante. Eh, Eduardo José, Ever Ernesto, Jenny. Ajá. Eh, en mi caso, hoy, hoy, hoy lo mandé, ya, ya me confirmó de recibido. Ah, ok. Good, Ahora, good. Sí. Ok, Ahí. perfecto. Entonces, si ya lo enviaron, ya tranquilo con el gobierno. <ríe> Let's say Eduardo José, Ever Ernesto, Jenny Elizabeth, Jeremías, Joana Yesenia, José Daniel Chávez, José Fernando, Miguel Ángel. Raúl de Jesús, Reina Elizabeth, Sandra Leticia y Yancy Astrid. Okay. 
esos no salen ahí todavía pendientes de envío del comprobante. Así que, porfa. Si ya lo enviaron, ya estuvo, vea. Ajá, Joana, ya. I will send tomorrow. Ok, tomorrow morning, right? Remember to send it. It's very important, ok? Todos estos detalles, por ejemplo, Insafor los toma muy en cuenta porque ellos necesitan todos estos detalles y comprobantes. Así que, porfa, siempre que nos lo soliciten, enviémoslo rápidamente. También se les hizo llegar el link para la inscripción del siguiente curso. Así que para que ustedes ya vayan reservando su espacio y porque yo sé que ustedes van a lograr todo con el 100%, su plataforma, sus clases, su asistencia, etcétera, no tengo duda alguna de que lo van a lograr. Así que inscríbanse ya al siguiente curso. Ok, ya vamos para eh, Intermediate 2. That would be great. Right? And I hope to see you there. So, write your answer. And once you have it ready, Raise your hand and leave it up, ¿ok? Levante la mano cuando termine para que yo sepa que ya terminó. On the, on the platform, ready. please. Okay, you're oh. ready. You're ready. You're ready. Edgar Tejada, give us, ¿ok? Alejandra, finish. You're ready. Edgar, finish. We're going to start with Edgar. Can you read your answer, please? Ok. Uh, yesterday I ate shrimps. I love to cook and I cook cook the shrimp with a kind of a garlic sauce. Nice. I, I add rice and salad. It was delicious. It was like a, the sky into my mouth. <laughs> it was very delicious. Very nice. Very nice. Thank you very much, Edgar, for that answer. Very good job. Excellent. Excellent answer. Alejandra Beatriz, go ahead. Go, Alejandra. Okay. Um, uh, my last trip was with my brother, and we went to the beach, Los Conos. We do a snorkel together with all the equipment, so and the shoes and the glasses. And we saw the arrecifes and too many fishes with all colors and form. It worked every second and all the viaje. No me acuerdo cómo se All the trip. And all the trip. Uh, Wow, that was very good. So you did scuba diving with your brother? Yes. How nice. Wow. To see all the coral reef and all these things, I imagine that it was really, really beautiful. Nice, yes. Alejandra. Thank you for sharing. Right. What a, what a great idea, right? Excuse me. Excuse me. Yes? Uh, what's the difference with the word trip and the word travel? Okay, the trip, for example, it's in the same in the same country, in the same city, right? So like I have a family trip and then you go to El Mahawal and then you go to the beach and something, right? The travel has a little bit more planning, right? You have to plan a little bit more. You have to, for example, you have to schedule it. You have to make a calendar to it. You have to, to have a specific date, date for you to travel, right? That would be like, I traveled to the United States in October last year, right? Right, but he said like, I had a trip to the United States. Yeah, because maybe it's something normal for you, right? It's like, ay, mañana voy a Estados Unidos, papi. And then you just go, right? That would be like kind of, kind of a, a small difference between trip and travel. That would be good, right? I love to travel, you say. Maybe you do it in a different country or it's something like more planned. Right. That's basically the difference between. Did I answer your question? Yeah, sure. Very Thanks. good. Thank you very much. And a nice question, by the way. Jansi, tell us. Okay, teacher. Uh, I ate rice, soy with vegetable, salad, and orange for lunch yesterday. I really like vegetable and fruits. My mother and I almost always cook vegetable. Nice. So your your dessert, su postre fue orange. Orange. It was orange. What a delicious thing. Okay, very nice job. So remember when you when you answer a question, you say like yesterday I ate this and this and this. So we can have relation with what we are answering. But it was a good answer. Very good job, Jancy. What about Ever? Tell us. Good evening. Hi, good evening. 
uh, on my last vacation, I went with my family to Guatemala. Okay. To Ipala Volcano. Oh. Yeah, uh, we climbed the volcano together. Um, in the top of, of the volcano, we went to swim in the lake and the water was very, very cool. Oh, oh I, I threw into, uh -huh. into ice in the water. Oh, really? Wow. First of all, I didn't know that you could swim on the volcano. That's yeah, new for me. Yeah, in the top there is a lake in the top. Wow, I didn't know. That's new for me. What a beautiful, yeah. a beautiful thing to see. I imagine that it looks very beautiful. I yeah. have, to, I will add it to my bucket list. I have to see it. Thank you, <laughs> ever. Very, very nice, very nice uh, answer. Great job, Edson. Go ahead. Good evening. Hi. Okay. Uh, my question is. What did, what did you do last weekend? It's okay. Uh, last week I started uh, English classes at Insapur. Yes. And I <laughs> was also also exercising at home in the afternoon. And in the, in, in the morning, cleaning at home. I was working a lot in, in online sales. And well, on Saturday, I still have to clean to our house. And well, Sunday, finally, we visited my uncle and my nephews. That's it. <laughs> That's it, right? So you were working a lot on sales and for sure you started classes with this amazing group of people, right? That was yeah. very good. <laughs> Excellent job. Very good, Edson. Very nice. And Thank Sandra you. Leticia, go ahead. Uh, my question is, um, where did you go on your last vacation? On my vacation, I went to Trifinio with my family. Oh. <laughs> we walk it a lot and it's very cold but really like to visit new place you went to Trifinio Trifinio, I don't know now but I went to El Trifinio like 15 years ago and it was very difficult to climb and we said like si sí, hombre, si lo subimos a ver todo. and then we were like it was difficult yeah yo tuve las tres etapas felicidad odio enojo alegría <laughs> cuatro en el yeah because it was like yeah yeah the volcano and then and then ah let's take me back i want to go back and then oh, what a beautiful view right yeah i don't know how i did it but i did it but yeah I, I will never do it again. <laughs> it is a nice trip, but it's very, very difficult to do it. Thank you, Sandra, for sharing about El Trifinio. El Trifinio. And it is called El Trifinio. ¿Saben por qué se llama El Trifinio, yeah? I don't know. Who? Yes. Because three different places are, uh, are, are seen in the same place, right? I think it's three different countries. Honduras, it's El Salvador, and... Guatemala. And Guatemala. And so it has the three different. Mm -hmm. So you go to three different countries on the top of the volcano. It is hard, but it's not impossible, right? Si yo lo hice, ustedes también. <laughs> you can do it. Yeah, I always say like, I never run, but if you see me running, run. <laughs> yeah, I always say that to my husband. Yo nunca corro, pero si me ven correr, corran. <laughs> Que algo pasa. <laughs> Nidia Esmeralda, tell us about your answer. Okay, teacher, and my question is, what did you do last weekend? And I worked a weekend last in cookie and meat barbecue for lunch. Okay, you cook barbecue for lunch? Yes, meat. Nice. Pork. Pork. I cook pork. 
a cook pork barbecue. Okay, it was a pork barbecue. What a delicious yeah. thing. <laughs> we went from the healthy volcano to the barbecue. That was so cool. Okay, good. Thank you, Nidia. So for your last weekend, you cook barbecue. Very good job. Jose Fernando. Um, the question, what? And what did you do yesterday? And what I did yesterday? And was fish of all time good for another day? And then how breast for that got over some things about my studies and then help me my daddy at work that have the have a lunch and that do the English platform and then the have hang out with my friends and the wait for English class. Okay. Good. Did you write the paragraph? ¿Tienes ese párrafo escrito en la yes. computadora? Yes? Yes. Ok. Yes. Copy it and send it to me on the chat, ok? Copialo okay. y me lo envías al chat de Zoom ahorita. So I can okay. read it carefully and I can correct on pronunciation on specific words, ok? Ok. Good. Very good, Jose Fernando. That's very nice. And it's nice that you have it there for you to copy it. Eduardo José. Uh, uh, good evening. Hi. Uh, well, the question, what was the last movie you saw? Uh, how was it? Uh, the last movie I saw was called uh, uh, Collateral, and it's a, a thriller with that actor of Maverick movie. Uh, I don't remember. Tom yeah, Cruise. I, uh, yes. Yeah, Tom Cruise and Jamie Foxx. And uh, I see the movie, I saw the movie with my mom and was really cool for me because we don't have a lot of time together. So when we spend time doing activities like for eating out is uh -huh. uh, really appreciated for me. Okay, it's it's really good time together. Very nice, right? And the movie is very good as well. So I am very glad that you had this opportunity to share with your family and for you to, let me see. Okay, there is someone who cannot enter to the Zoom meeting. Okay, so it is nice that you have this opportunity to share with your, with your mom and with your family. That was so nice. Thank you, Eduardo Jose. Uh, Joanna and then Karen. Okay, teacher. Uh, uh, my question is, what did you do yesterday? I woke, woke up. ¿Se dice, verdad? Yeah, I woke up. The yes. way, I woke up. I woke up 6 a.m. I took a shower. I cooked my breakfast and I ate. Then I went to buy shoes. Uh, teacher, uh, when I say, when I want to say para mi negocio, it's correct for my business? For my business, yes. I went to okay. buy shoes and for my business. I went to buy shoes for my business. Um, I cook all day for my family. Uh, then I, I received my English class. Good, very good job. And excellent, Joanna. So you have your little business, right? And you went to buy shoes for it. Very good job. And last but not least, Karen Stephanie. What did you do last weekend? Okay. Uh, on Saturday, early, I traveled, traveled from Chalatenango to the center of Santa Tecla. I am going to San Salvador to a shopping center. It's the Sunday. I at home. I hit ten. No sé cómo se dice tareas. Adelante tareas. Ah, I I did homework. You say I did homework. I did homework. Pero I, es siempre de estudio. Uh -huh. Okay, I did es homework. La, yes. La curiosidad. Uh -huh. No, it's the same. The homework is the same for for this. 
right? The ones that you do at home, they are called chores, okay? When you, when you do tareas de la casa, they are called chores. And the ones that you do for studies, it's called homework, okay? That's the difference. Homework is for studies and chores are for tarea de la casa. So it was a busy weekend, right? You went to shopping center. I like to go there. Yeah. <laughs> I think everybody <laughs> likes to go there. It, nice, easy, and cheap. So it's pretty awesome. Thank you very much. And Isabel, go ahead. And my question is, what was the last movie you saw? Or was it? And my last movie I saw was The Girl of the 20th uh, Century. Um, it was frustrating. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> the girl loved uh, a boy, but he dies and she stayed waiting. And I don't like it because I was so sad because uh, she was going to stay with him and out for for no no where he died. Oh <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it was like yes, it, it is really terrible when these things happened because you are so happy with the movie and you say like yes and everything is everything goes perfect and then he dies. And it's like come on <laughs> it's <laughs> not possible you say but uh, yeah so the girl on the 20 the 20th century so i am not going to watch it anymore ya no la voy a ver <laughs> because now i know that they die and so what's the purpose right <laughs> of of watching the movie okay so that was very good yeah i'm very sorry that the movie was not that good but yeah something something yeah there are some movies that are very very like that you say it was i really want to see it and then when you watch it it's horrible <laughs> And it's like mm, disappointing, right? Good. So thank you very much to all the ones who were sharing their answers with me and to all the ones that didn't have the chance to share it, remember to write it, right? It's always necessary for you to have it. Why uh, did I do this? In some cases, we practice a lot of speaking, a lot of reading, a lot of listening, but we don't do writing, okay? Y a veces ya cuando venimos a escribir decimos, pero cómo lo pongo? ¿Cómo lo hago? ¿Cómo va? So it is very, very complicated when you put things on writing. ¿Ya habían hecho ejercicios de escritura? Así de que bueno, voy a escribir en ese momento y lo voy, a, lo voy a dar y lo voy a leer. So it is important. I always recommend this to my students. And I say, at the end of the day, get a notebook. And in the notebook, write what you did on the day. Y me decir, teacher, es como llevar un diario. It is. It is like that. Right? ¿Se acuerdan cuando estábamos más? jovencitos, o sea, ahorita estamos jóvenes, pero más jovencitos, que decíamos, ay, que, ay, hoy fue un día fantástico, hoy lo vi, oh, por Dios, tan guapo, <laughs> right, and so it's the same thing, but this was a, like the romantic thing, like, no, but now I need you to keep a diary of your activities during the day, and you say, well, today was a very stressful day, I did many things at the work, and my boss lectured me, and blah, 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 and you have to write about what happens on your day in English, why because it is going to help you to improve your writing every day okay it is like a like a i don't know a catch up of your day van a ser como un resumen de su día every day in a little notebook even five ten lines it is necessary and psychology says that if you write it you forget it right muchos estudios de la de la psicología y la mente dicen de que si lo saca de su mente ya no lo hago bien anoche. Entonces le va a servir si lo pone por escrito ahí. ¿Qué pasó en el día? Ya no lo va a estar pensando toda la noche. And you are going to practice your English. Give and take. <laughs> so I recommend you to do this every day. Get a little notebook, a little notebook that you have there and just write about your day. Ah, today was this and this and this and this and that. And the next day, another page and more lines, right? You are going to see that it is going to be very beneficial for your English. Así como hacemos el audio del día, hagan su párrafo del día, there, at night, okay? Yes, Eduardo? Uh, I think that someone 
and type in the WhatsApp chat that can yeah i i sent the link already yes i sent the link to let me see yeah i sent the link because i mean she was having issues to enter but i don't know if she could do it could you enter yes or no yes or no okay yeah i sent a a, a private message and i don't know if if she could enter. Ellie. No, but she hasn't entered. But she was trying there. I sent her a message to see if, if she could do it. OK, thank you very much for being my eyes as well. OK, so let's, uh, I'm going to call the attendance before everything. Así no los tengo aquí en la noche ya casi durmiéndose. I am trying to do it in the middle of the class. And then we are going to go with the used to part of this class. Yesterday, when we were checking the platform, we were checking on uh, this part of the use of used to. What is the meaning of used to in Spanish, people? Suelo. Uh, in present. In present and in past? Solía. Yeah. Solía, right? Solía. That's, Solía. that's the way that we are going to use it today. Things that you used to do. What, what were the things that you used to practice? What were the things that you used to do when you were kids, right? I remember that we had a lot of different traditions and stuff that we used to do when we were kids, but we don't do anymore now because now we are adults and we are busy all the time. So that's what we're going to be practicing. Alejandra Beatriz. Angelica Yamilet. Okay, uh, Cecilia de Los Angeles. Here, teacher. Thank you. Okay, uh, Cesar Guadalupe. Cesar was here, I know. Edgar Abel. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Uh, let's see, Edson Stanley. Present, teacher. Thank you, Eduardo José. Present, teacher. Elvira Lorena. Lorenza, sorry, I always change your name. <laughs> Thank you. Lendiala, no cambiando el nombre. Eh, Ever Ernesto. Ever. Isabó. Present teacher. Jenny Elizabeth. Jeremías. 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 Jeremías Ezequiel. Ok, Joana Yesenia. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Ok, let me just change here. Ok. Ever Ernesto. Present teacher, it says. Very good. Thank you, Ever. And Jose Daniel. Present oh. teacher. Thank you, Jose Fernando. Present teacher. Thank you. Karen Stephanie. Present teacher. Katherine Alejandra. Present teacher. Miguel Ángel. Present teacher. Nidia Esmeralda. Thank you. Present teacher. Raúl de Jesús. Present teacher. Reina Elizabeth. Samuel Isaac. Samuel Isaac. Eh, Sandra Leticia. Teacher. Yeah, Samuel is in the chat. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. And Sandra Leticia. Thank you. Jancy Astrid. That's it. Okay, Jancita, it's right here. I saw her. Okay, Jenny is not here today, Reina. And Jenny Elizabeth. No. And Jeremias. I was looking for it. Okay, good. So let's continue working, my dear students. I have here a couple of questions of uh, the use of used to. 
And what we have here, it is something important to remember, right? The use of used to. How do you use it? What is the purpose of this? And in this case, it is good, good, good to remember that it doesn't change. In this case, when you use used to, you have for I, you, he, she, it, we, and they, it doesn't change, okay? In the case of used to, you say I used to, she used to, he used to. You don't make any change on the verb. And just the past, right? You say used with the. And for the negatives, I didn't use to and the verb is normal. And here on the presentation, I have a couple of questions. And the first one says, who can help me to read the first one? Help me to read the first one. Me, teacher. Go ahead, please. What do you, what did people used to do before television was invaded? What did people used to do before television was invented? What do you think? To listen to the radio. <laughs> they used to listen to the radio a lot. What else? Found the ads. They, okay, what else? What did they, they used do? to play? They used to play, right? They used to play different games. Used to talk face to face. They, they used to talk face to face. That was the most beautiful part, I imagine, because they had communication and everything, right? Before television was invented. Uh, families were very big before, so they used to have a lot of kids and they used yeah. to have a lot of people in the family and they used to have a lot of conversations and a lot of, I mean, other ways to entertain. They used to invent different games, right? How did people used to travel before there were cards? Maybe in horses. By horse, right? By horse. Train. Maybe by train. train. By train. train. What else? Walking. By foot, right? By foot. They used to walk, they used to travel by Dutch, foot. Dutch walking. <laughs> <laughs> In the Dutch, right? In the Dutch piece, right? The Dutch. The next question, number three. What is the question? How do people used to see at night before there were electric lights? Aha. Uh -huh. How did um, people used to see at night? Candle. <laughs> candle. Using candles, right? Using candles. 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 And that was the way to, to light your house, right? Using candles. That was the only way to do it. And then electricity appeared, right? What games did you used to play as a child? Used to play as a child. Hide and seek. <laughs> Okay, marbles, right? Marbles are like canicas, yo-yo, oh, the spinning Trump top, a spinning <laughs> top, a spinning uh, top. Jump rope. Jump rope. Jump rope. And jump. the spinning top is el trompo and the marbles are the uh, canicas, right? Those are the... The, the different games that we used to have when we were kids, right? We were very innocent at the moment of playing, right? Because we used to have fun, right? Hide and seek was like the fun thing to do, right? And if yeah. you had if you had someone in your neighborhood that was like, ese es el que me gusta, o ese es la que me gusta, it's like, let's hide together. They used to say, ah. <laughs> <laughs> that was the trick, right? It was like, ay, escondámonos juntos. Ah, that was, that was the trick. Mm. <laughs> That's another you. Mm. Yeah, that, but it was very innocent. Indeed, it was very yeah. innocent because we were just like. In the question, teacher. Hiding. Um, ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Chibolas. Chibolas. Marbles. Marbles. Ah, okay. That, my, marbles. Marbles. My marbles. Okay. Marvels. <laughs> Marvels. Marvels with V. V. Marvels. Marvels. Okay. Marvels. So, what other games did you used to play? Did you used to play Nintendo? Yes. Yeah. 
de video game. Play Super Nintendo. <laughs> Super, well, there you have Nintendo, Super Nintendo, then the 64, the, all yeah. these different, <laughs> the, the game consoles, right? We had, that was so nice. The revolution. The, yeah, we were part of the evolution, right? Did you used yes. to play Tetris? Yes. That's... Or with the with the Nokia cell phone, <laughs> the snake. <laughs> that was a, that's a classic, right? The next one, number five. What is question number five? What what job did your grandfather did you used to have? To have things what things job so did your grandfather used to have? Uh huh. How what job? Saying? How do you say? Campo. Farmer. Oh, work in the farm. Yeah. To work on the farm, right? They used to be farmers. Farmer. Right? They used to be farmers most of the time. Yeah. Farmers. My, my grandfather, teacher, uh, uh, how do you say? Estuvo como en la fuerza. Ah, he was, antes, he antes. was a military. Military, yes. He was a military, okay. Yeah, that was very common yeah. as well. Is is a is a a strict? Yeah. Very strict. <laughs> I imagine, I imagine that he's very strict. So uh, he was a military. They used to be farmers, and they used to work on the land, right? To work on the fields. And also in construction. Uh -huh. In construction, right? To work on the fields or to work in construction. Or as a yes, este, my my bueno, my grandfather no como así no los conocí ajá uh -huh. I didn't um, I didn't well in that case like I didn't meet them or I didn't, I didn't know them no that uh, in the, my grandmother yes is a uh, one era uh, no sé enfermera a nurse era uh, is a nurse in the other era uh, Maestra <laughs> or teacher. She was a teacher. Very These good job. My sisters, yes. She was a teacher. She was a teacher. She was a teacher or a nurse, right? It, that was a very um, common thing, right? To be nurse, teachers, carpenters, or construction workers, or farmers, right? A lot of uh, human work, right? All the things that implied you as a human, right? In many of the cases, we didn't have like accountants or things like those, but we had a lot of teachers, right? Who were uh, working on those areas, right? That was very good. Or many, many women were housewife. A housewife, this is one of the most difficult jobs, believe me. <laughs> yeah, el que diga que es ama de casa y no hace nada, <laughs> no, not at all, right? That's one of the most difficult jobs. You have to cook, you have to clean, you have to uh, study, you have to do homework, you have to be everything. Doctor, psychologist, psychiatric, whatever. It's a difficult job. Okay, so... No money. <laughs> <laughs> no pay, right? No salary. Then number six. What is question number six? What hobby do you want to have? 10 years ago. Uh -huh. did you used to have 10 years old. What hobby did you mm. used to have 10 years ago? <laughs> Let's see. Uy, hobbies, hobbies. Hi fi. <laughs> I play soccer. Come on, say say. Soccer. Uh, yeah. I used to, I used to. I used to play, play soccer. I used to play soccer. Good. Yes. And I what? am. I am used. Uh, I used to play basketball. I used to uh, play, play basketball. I used to play basketball. Good. Yes. Another hobby that you used to have when you, I mean, uh, ten years uh, ago. Me teacher. I, yes. Which one? I used to run in the goal street. Oh, you used to run. In yes. De Oro. Uh huh. Wow. So oh, do you see? My God all those beautiful hobbies that we used to have, right? Ese joven yo. What was your hobby as a young, as a young person? I mean, if we go further, 15 years ago, what was your hobby? 15 years ago, what was your hobby? 
posting on Facebook. <laughs> Checking a Snapchat. Checking Hi-Fi. Did you have Hi-Fi, people? No. No? no. MySpace. No. Yes. MySpace. Yes. yes. <laughs> Singing Backstreet Boys songs is <laughs> 20 years ago. <laughs> yeah, my hobby 20 years ago was dancing. I was in a dance group. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, one of these choreography. <laughs> oh my God. Me avergüenza. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it was beautiful. I, I, It was a beautiful thing, but no. Then I became a teacher and that's it. <laughs> I forgot about everything. How long ago... How long ago did most people used to hunt animals for food? How long ago did most people used to hunt animals for food? Maybe in 80s or 90s. A long time ago. Uh, a uh, long time no ago. Sé significa, teacher. No sé qué okay. Significa. How long ago, hace cuánto, how long ago did most people used to hunt animals for food? To hunt animals for food is cazar animales para alimentarse. Mm. Yeah, and it doesn't count, right? Ir al super agarrar un pollo no cuenta, okay? <laughs> that is not <laughs> hunting, okay? How do you say eh, garrobo? <laughs> <laughs> I think garrobo, garrobo in English. I think it's the same, but let, let, I need to investigate it, right? But I, I, I don't want to give you an incorrect name. Kusuku. I think Kusuku is the same because it's a it's a national thing. Maybe we'll have to find a scientific <laughs> name. Let's see. Of the animal. I think it, it might be an iguana or something like that. It is not the same, but it might be. Let's see. Uh, teacher, ¿y corretear una gallina? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not hunting. <laughs> cuenta, yeah. Corretear una gallina, cuenta, dice. Yeah, as, as hunting. Well, yeah, if you grab it, yeah. Si no es suya. <laughs> yes. Garro is, is, is armadillo. Armadillo, it's right? Ar armadillo. It's, it's an armadillo, yes. But garrobo, yeah. it's garrobo. It doesn't have a, a translation. It's in it. garrobo, correct. Yeah, garrobo, it's the same. Garrobo is garrobo. Okay. An armadillo, <laughs> it's a kusuku, right? A normal day look. Good. So I think many years ago, people used to hunt uh, animals for food. And the next one, what did people used to do before cameras were invented? Making pictures by hand. Okay, like very good. Draw. Drawing, right? Mm -hmm. Drawing, making pictures by hand. Very good. And what, why, sorry, why did people used to have shorter lives 100 years ago? Why did people used to have shorter lives 100 years ago? What is the meaning, hundreds, teacher? Miles, muchos, cientos de años atrás. Uh -huh. Porque la gente vivía menos. ¿Cómo se dice medicina certificada? <laughs> Because of, of certified medicine, yes. <laughs> yeah, because of medicine, uh -huh. because of, well, I think that in, in the past, because of big animals or dinosaurs, bye-bye <laughs> human. But most of the things for the illnesses, right? Las enfermedades, that they didn't have a treatment and they say like, ah, it just died. In the example of war, the different con the countries, Yes, the war, right? The war. It was another reason, right? And now, maybe, uh -huh. maybe the way they used to feed the, themselves. The way they used to feed themselves. Yeah, that it might have affected, right? In many of the forms. I need you to think about one thing that you used to do, but now you don't do anymore. So you say, I used to, but now I don't. Think about one thing that you used to do a lot before, but now you don't do it. Algo que hacían mucho, pero ya no. I used to eat ice cream, but now I don't. Hmm. I'm sorry for that. <laughs> you used to eat a lot of ice cream, but now you don't. Uh huh. What about the rest? I used to I used went to, to the cinema a lot. 
I uh, used to go. I used to go, sorry. I used to go to the cinema a lot, but now, no. <laughs> but now you don't. Okay, I what else? Can you sing to me? Okay, first, I, first Joanna. I used to jump. To... Okay. On my bed. <laughs> so you used to jump on your bed? I used to go to gym. I used to go to the gym, right? I used to go to the gym, but now? But now I don't. I don't. <laughs> okay, Karen? I used to do, go playing with Kofi, but, but no, no, no. Okay, you used to go and play with your cousins, but now you don't, right? Yo Cesar, <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> Cesar. Cesar Guadalupe? What is your sentence? I used to jump on my bed, teacher. <laughs> but now, I don't. So you say, I used, I don't, to, I don't. I used to jump on my bed, but now I don't. Edgar? Mm, I, I used to live in Agua Caliente, but now I live in New okay. Concepcion City. <laughs> okay, but now I don't. Very good. Now you live in New Concepcion. What about Raul? Um, I used to visit some of my friends, but now I don't. Um, you used to visit your friends, but now you don't. Eduardo Jose? <laughs> Teacher, how do you say llamado? PJ party. Okay, I used to make PJ party with my cousin. I that was fantastic. <laughs> but now you don't. Right, it, it was my, nice, right? It was nice. In my, in my case, teacher, uh, I used to eat hot spice <laughs> with, ah. with churritos. I now, don't, <laughs> I don't eat, <laughs> but now you don't, right? Now, gastritis. <laughs> okay, let me uh, see. Uh huh, I don't. So, but now I don't, right? Yeah, it is It is difficult. It is difficult now that, I mean, we get older and you say, oh, look, uh, I don't know, takis, fuego, whatever. Like, uh, uh, <laughs> you are dying. <laughs> You're like, oh, I shouldn't have done that. You are not that young anymore, right? We need to be careful about it. Isabel, wow. tell me one thing that you used to do and now you don't. We both... But I don't repose because I I sleep for hours <laughs> and and wake up for the gym, the university. Oh my god. Resting, right? I used to rest, so Leah descansar. I used to rest, but now I don't. What's that? Right? You don't even know. Yeah. I, I am very sorry for that. <laughs> well, so that is the comparison of things that you used to do and now you don't do it anymore. Maybe because you are adults now, because you have responsibilities, because you have to study, because you have the university, et cetera, et cetera, or you have kids now and it's not possible, right? I used to have privacy before, but now that you have a kid, he's like, mom, what are you doing? What are you? <laughs> I don't anymore, right? And it is like that. So that is the use. That is the use of this form of uh, English. When you say, I used to, right? That is the form of it, right? We were talking about yourselves before, right? Tell me about yourself and you were giving me information about you. But in this case, I was covering this part that says like used to. Okay, the forms of used to refers to something that you used to do regularly in the past, but you don't do anymore, right? Did you used to collect something when you were kids? You say, yes, I used to collect comic books or I used to collect, I don't know, cards or something. Or no, I didn't used to collect anything. What sports did you used to play? ¿Qué deporte jugaban? What sports did you used to play? Soccer, raise your hand if you used to play soccer. 
Basketball. Yes, teacher. I'm basketball. Yes, me too. Running. Running. Dancing. Yes. Running. Dancing. Um, me too. Humble. Yeah. Sure. Did you used to go so. to the gym to weight lift? Yeah, I said, ooh. <laughs> but then you say it, it is very, it is a very famous thing, right? Right. Always. Cesar, yes, you used to do it as well. Iban a levantar pesas. But what I happened? Play wrestling. Wrestling. Wow. So you see, I used to do wrestling, right? But now you don't. And all the blame is on the knee. Todos culpan a la rodilla. And it's like, I used to play soccer, but now I can't because of the knee. Aha. Uh -huh. And now I used to play basketball, but es, now... Es culpa de la columna. I can't. I can't because of the columna. back. Yeah. I, everything. <laughs> la columna de años que ya tiene. <laughs> That's a problem, right? When you say like, I used to do it, but now I don't do it anymore, right? And here we have a short exercise about used to. And it says, did you used to collect comic books when you were little? No, I. No, I didn't. No, I Not didn't used. use, right? No, I didn't use because here you have the option of the answer. Let me show it to you here. Here you have the option of the answer. And it says like, no, I didn't used to collect anything. So did you used to collect comic books? No, I didn't used to, right? No, I didn't used to collect anything, uh, anything, uh, sorry, comic books. I uh, know I didn't used to. Here you have. I didn't used to. It should be small cases, but just for you to see it. You and your friends play in the playground as kids. Here, you need to use the past tense. Did you and your friends. Used, 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 to, used, to, used to, to play at the playground as kids. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Or we said like, yes, used, we. Used, and here you have, used, here you have the, the option. Yes, I used to. In this case, you don't say yes, I did. I used to. Yes, we. And we have here, yes, we. We used to. Used to. Yes, we used to spend hours there on weekends. What video games did, did, did you use to play? Use to, to, play. to play? What video games did you use to play? I used to. Used to. I used, used to, to play, play video games, but now I play them. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. In this case, we have. For example, I didn't, I didn't use to, I didn't use to play video games, but now I play them all the time, right? No lo hacía, pero ya lo hago, right? It happens now, que hoy, hoy andan jugando de todo, right? I didn't use to do it, but now I play them. What music did... What music did you used to you. used to listen to? I in this used. case we say I used to, used to listen to pop music to. a lot, but now I prefer rock, they say. Ha ha. What music did you used to listen to, people? What was your top artist? I prefer I salsa. Uh, romantic music. Romantic music. Okay, let's see. Romantic music. Did you used to listen to boy bands? Like Bastry Boys and Sing or let's something like Bob. that? Britney Spears. Britney Spears. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I used to listen to Britney Spears. Okay. Yeah. Who uh, used to listen to rock music? Me like, listen. Yeah. Rock. Okay, yeah. that you were like, yeah. yeah. Spanish is crazy. Uh, rock is, rock, uh, uh, relax classic. Relax classic. Okay, classical music. Good. Classical, classical music. music. Yes. Good. Okay. And well, I used to listen to all these 
like Faye and I, Belanova and all these things that were very girly things. Yeah. Rock along. Yeah, and for sure rock and uh, Guns N' Roses and stuff like that. So it was like very buried. So tomorrow we are going to continue talking a little bit of the things that you used to do when you were young. And we are going to keep practicing and we're going to do some grammar exercises. I really appreciate your time today and I am going to see you tomorrow. Please remember to send the paper, right? Envíen el comprobante mañana último día, okay? Okay. Thank you, students. Have a wonderful night, and I will see you Good tomorrow. Night, teacher. Good see you night. tomorrow, Good teacher. Night. Bye. 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 Take care. Have a wonderful night. Thank you too. Bye -bye. Thank you, teacher. Uh, teacher. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, sería tan amable de enviar el comprobante por WhatsApp, la hoja que hay que enviar. Si la uh, tiene a la mano. Ok, lo voy a buscar porque yo no tengo ese comprobante. Creo que se los enviaron a ustedes a su correo. Ah, entonces lo voy a buscar en el correo. Sí, Muchas porque gracias. creo que yo no lo tengo. Si lo encuentro, se lo envío, sí. con mucho gusto. ¿Ok? Muchas gracias. O si no, lo que podemos Feliz hacer, noche. Raúl, Raúl, ¿Sí? lo que podemos hacer es pedírselo a Victoria. Le puede escribir directamente a Victoria, eh, nuestra encargada del, del grupo, que se lo sí. reenvíe. Y ella se lo puede enviar con mucho gusto. Está bien. ¿Okay? Yo me comunico con ella. Thank you very sí, much. Muchas gracias. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, bye. Have bye. a wonderful night. Bye. See you tomorrow.